Hi there YouTube, I'm coming to you today with another review and today we're going to be looking at the Honey Bee controller for the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Um, this one I've had in storage for quite a few years. It was my go-to standard play player 2 controller as a kid. Um, if you had parents that were anything like mine who didn't really want to spend too much money on these systems, they would get you the cheapest and nastiest controller they could find and this is it. Um, the Honey Bee controller. This, it's got a, quite a nice thickness to it, which I quite like, but it's still a fairly small controller, um, much like the Super Nintendo standard one. Um, every button that you have on the standard controller as well, A, B, X, Y, L, R, Start, Select, and your D-pad. The D-pad itself is mushy and unresponsive. You can see it rolling around there. You'd have to push it down a fair way before it actually engage and same on the other side so that's how far you've got to dart your hand around every time you want to change directions um, may not seem like much but in an action pack game it was rubbish um, this was the one that I'd always give to my friends when we were playing Mario Kart um, and maybe a couple of years ago I played my friend in Mario Kart and he had the standard controller and I ended up with this one and it was a disaster. I'm actually quite good at that game, and he was fairly average, and I could not beat him. It was just a piece of crap. The buttons are mushy. Um, every single button is mushy. These ones are stiff and mushy. Um, the L and R buttons, yeah, they're, I mean, they're not too bad, but all these ones are just horrid. Um, there you go. It's even got a little Nintendo or Honeybee logo on the back there um, to look like a Nintendo logo, if you can see that blatant ripoff. Um, the only one thing it has got going for it is the cord length. The cord is really quite long. It's not the standard, you know, 1.8, it's 1.95. You almost get two meters of cord out of this one, which I really did like. So there you go. One good thing to say about it. Who would I recommend this for? I would recommend this to nobody except for maybe your dog if you needed a new chew toy. Um, don't buy it. Don't use it. Unless you really want to have a collection of every control there is, um, it's not worth your time or investment. Try something different. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.